to offer prayers to God on our behalf and on behalf of, our, of, of all our loved ones. Amen. Amen. So we'll just talk briefly about these two things that are very critical and important to Grandma Lydia Obaki on this occasion of her 88th birthday. The first, as we said, will be to offer praises to God, the Almighty, our Maker, our Lord, our Savior, and our Creator, the one who has shown us so much mercies and grace to have kept her to see her 88th birthday in good health, in good shape, and in good spirit. God has done great things for grandma, for all our loved ones. Bless her with the age that is biblically reserved for those who are strong. The scriptural age is 70. And the Bible says, by reason of strength, you can clock 80. So the Almighty God has also positioned grandma for his promise to satisfy her with long life, according to Psalm 91, verse 16. Therefore, grandma's songs of praise today are many. And we will find a summary of our songs of praise to God in Psalm 103, the first two verses. Psalm 103, the first two verses. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Without any doubt, Grandma is thankful to God for many, many benefits that she has enjoyed over the past 80 years of her life. Without any doubt, Mom, you have enjoyed the benefit of God's mercies, which have been new every morning of your beautiful life. You have enjoyed the benefit of forgiveness of sins, because the Bible says if the Lord were to weigh our sins, none of us would be able to stand. But mommy can stand today because the righteousness of Christ has become a beautiful garment all over her. Can somebody clap for Jesus? <laughs> Grandma has enjoyed the benefit of God's favor, God's grace, God's mercy, benefit of healing and health. Has mommy been sick in 80 years? She will say yes. She has had, no doubt, like every one of us, flu, some fever, maybe malaria. If she ever lived where I was born and where I lived for the first 30 something years of my life. But God has seen her through all those moments and periods Thank you, Lord. and healed all her sicknesses and diseases. We therefore join mom today to truly praise and thank the Lord for all the benefits that she has enjoyed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we can go on and on and on. The benefit and blessing of the fruit of the womb. At 80, mommy, grandma can see her seeds. And not just her seeds, even the seeds of her seeds. Glory be to the name Hallelujah. of our God. Hallelujah. And if the Lord tarries, mommy, grandma, you will see your children's children to the first generation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One of your grandson shares the same name with me, Lakey. And by the grace of God, you will see the children of Lakey. Amen. Can I hear a louder amen for you? Amen. Look, everyone that is here, you will see your children's children to amen. the first generation. Amen. Secondly, as I begin to round up, I said two things grandma would love to offer today and to for you and I to join her to offer unto the Lord. Praises unto God for all that God has done for her. And secondly, prayers unto the Lord. And what is the best form of prayer that we should pray for grandma today? It will be to pray the promises of God and ask that those promises will become performers in our life. Because we know that our God is not just a promise maker, he's also a promise keeper. Amen. 
So what are the promises of God that we are looking at that we should pray for grandma?